And now let's take a look at some questionable texts in the New Testament that you may be considering. The first thing we're going to look at is Peter's dream. Peter was up on a rooftop and he was sleeping and he was given a vision by God. In this vision, it was recorded in Acts chapter 10, goes like this. Peter, when he was in vision, he saw heaven opened and an object like a great sheet bound at the four corners descending to him and let down to the earth. In it were all kinds of four-footed animals of the earth, wild beasts, creeping things, and birds of the air. And a voice came to him, rise, Peter, kill and eat. Many people read this vision or dream and they stop right there. So what we just spent some time covering the clean and unclean animals, now it looks like God is giving Peter authority to eat whatever he wants to eat. But our key is found in the next few verses. Let's take a look at verse 14. But Peter said, Not so, Lord, for I have never eaten anything common or unclean. So Peter, who walked and talked three and a half years studying at the foot of God himself, Jesus, on earth, evidently so far has been given no indication that what was once biblically unclean is now considered okay. And let's take a look at another questionable text in Mark chapter 7 verse 19. This is wording is found only in modern translations of the Bible, and it goes like this. For it doesn't go into their heart, but into their stomach, and then out of their body. In saying this, Jesus declared all foods clean. And this is where Jesus said it's not what comes into a man's mouth that makes him unclean and what comes out. And really what that's talking about is what comes out of the heart reveals, uh, or what comes out of your mouth reveals what is inside your heart. But you'll notice this is in parentheses, and this is the New International Version of the Bible. Now, here we have a problem of Bible translations. And there are many different translations of the Bible, and they can't all say the exact same thing. So for a company to come up with a new translation of the Bible, there has to be some variations. There's only so many times you can say the same thing before you change it so you can make more money off of it. So the the translators of the Bible in the NIV, they did good for many points of translation, but here is an instance where they inserted their own thinking, which is not recorded in the original manuscript. Take a look at the King James Version of the very same verse. Because it entereth not into his heart, but into the belly, and goeth out into the drought, purging all meats. You'll notice there the whole parenthetical statement in saying this Jesus declared all foods clean is not found in the King James Version of the Bible. So, where people claim that Jesus declared everything clean does not hold up to good Bible study and Bible scrutiny. Let's go back to our uh, dream with Peter, Acts chapter 10, verse 15. And a voice spoke to him again the second time, what God has cleansed, you must not call common. So people say, okay, well, Peter sees this sheet come down, all kinds of animals and beasts in it. God says, rise, Peter, kill and eat. Peter says, not so, for I have never eaten anything common or unclean. And then God says, uh, whatever I've cleansed, you do not call common. Verse 17, now while Peter wondered within himself, so far, did Peter understand the dream, yes or no? Biblically speaking, Peter did not understand it. Now while Peter wondered within himself what this vision which he had seen meant, behold the men who had been sent. And here's where we need to continue this story of Peter's dream. Here's what happened. Cornelius, who was, the Bible says, was of a Latin band, wanted to hear more about the gospel, wanted to hear more about this Jesus that he had heard about. So he sent two men, two men to fetch Peter, and they go get Peter while he's up on the housetop, and it just so happened to be while Peter was receiving this vision. The men take Peter to Cornelius, who, by the way, is not a Jew, who is a Gentile, and which to the good Jews, that was considered unclean. You see, a good Jew did not associate with people outside of the Jewish nation. If they, in fact, if they uh, touched them or associated, they were considered unclean. If they touched a pig, they were considered unclean. So you can see why God was using the symbolism of the unclean foods to prove his, his point to Peter here. 
Peter goes to see Cornelius, talks to him. Cornelius accepts the message of salvation. The Holy Spirit falls on them. And in verse 28, it says this, Then he said to them, You know how unlawful it is for a Jewish man to keep company with or go to one of another nation. But God has shown me that I should not call any man common or unclean. So Peter's vision, was it about food or was it about people? This was God helping Peter to explain that the message of salvation is for all people, not just the Jews. In fact, in verse 34, this is where the famous saying is that God is no respecter of persons. That's in the context of the visit with Cornelius, which is in the context of Peter's vision. Please like and share what you're learning on social media. Visit and like us on Facebook, visit and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and visit and subscribe to the website at beholdthesavior.com. Thank you, and God bless.